right, shooters, here we are for an out-of-the-box and to-the-match gun review. And one of my favorite clubs in Moxie, Washington, the Yakima uh, Rifle and Pistol Association ISSA Steel Challenge match. They do a really good job. I love coming here, and it's a great place to review guns. And that's what we're here for. Check out what we're going to be review reviewing. Bursa. Now, Bursa's been around a long time, made in Argentina, and th they have a reputation for building inexpensive 22s, 380s, uh, 32 ACPs, from many, many years ago. I have a, you know, a shooter's Bible from 1953 that lists these little compact auto loaders, but they've never had anything that sparked my interest that I really wanted to shoot. Well, check out this piece. That's a five inch barreled, double stack, nine millimeter pistol. Fiber optic front sight. Uh, it looks like an LPA adjustable rear sight. Ambidextrous controls. Alloy frame, steel slide, match fit barrel. They claim it's all hand fit, and based on my playing with the gun, it fits very, very nicely. All nicely polished feed ramp. It fits nice and tight. Everything fits great. Should shoot well. I don't know. It doesn't come with a test target. That's an extra added expense. Trigger is fantastic. I'm knocked out by the trigger. And before I get the trigger, let me show you the controls. We have the ambi uh, slide release, takedown, and this looks like a like a thumb safety, and it. It really isn't. It's a DSA gun, and you can rest your thumb on it all you want. This hammer, this drop, hammer, hammer drop unit is done when you lift up. That is kind of cool, and it disconnects everything. I like that. So there's your DA first shot, successive cycles, and you want to put it back in the holster? Up, down. Ready to go. I like that because it, I got a decent shelf, and it's not sticking out so far that it gets in the way. But it actually gives you a place to rest your thumb, as uh, you would on 1911. Some place to put your, place your thumb, and it also gets out of the way of that, and then you're, you really can get a nice high grip on the gun without fear of having something happen unexpectedly, like the hammer drop. So the controls are laid up very nice. Ergonomics feel really good. The gun feels like a pretty high grip on it. It's really, somebody engineered this thing to be a competitive pistol, and it's, we'll see in a minute here how well it works, at least in my hands. And again, my performance is not always an indicative of the, of the capabilities of the firearm. I do the very best I can on, on race day, and today's race day I'm a little rusty, so I'm throwing out my excuses early. But anyways, 5-inch gun, uh, ambient controls, fiber optic front, adjustable rear, DA trigger pull. Amazing! Under 9 pounds. Uh, I think it pulled scale, and it's, it's really interesting how it works. Instead of being you know linear at 8, eight, and eight pounds... I think 8 pounds 13 ounces or 8 pounds 11 ounces on my alignment scale. All the way through, it peaks at peak leverage and then it rolls off to about 7.5 for the rest of the pull. So, again, as I pull the trigger, it peaks at about uh, 8, 8 pounds 11 ounces and then rolls off to 7.5. It is extremely manageable. It is so smooth. Will it go bang? I don't know. It is awful light. It's very, very nice to shoot. Single action is equally light. Now it's got a little bit of creep. If you watch closely on the trigger, you'll see the trigger move a little bit. Right there, see a little tick? Watch the trigger move, a little tick. Right there. But it breaks under four pounds. It's uh, three pounds, 13 ounces. Little tick, bang. Little tick, bang. Will that wear in, break in as I shoot it? Wouldn't surprise me a bit. And it's really not noticeable. I mean, in, in true firing, you're just gonna you're just gonna break the shots. Unless I'm shooting headshots at 100 yards, I'm never gonna notice that at all, anyways. So we got a fantastic DA, wonderful SA. Again, sends that little tick in it. Five inch barrel, proper sights. Uh, uh, again, on both sides we have little serrations. A lot of guys like to have the uh, the thumb rest or the gas pedal, whatever we want to call them. But it's, it's a place to put your thumb, so it gives you a little more purchase on the gun. And it's also an index point for the uh, for the carry crowd to have a place that if you happen to be in a situation where you're using this gun in defense of uh, life and limb, you have a place to per, you know place your thumb, your finger, index finger, your trigger finger, in uh, before you actually need to use it. So it's a place to put put it. So either way. Nice gun. Oh, nicely beveled magwell. And guess what? Comes with five magazines. Five ready to go magazines. They say made in Italy on them, so we're going to assume they're Metgar. But they're beautifully made. They fit nice. They drop out so smartly. Solid gun, solid pistol at a solid price. Now, I can't tell you what it is. I think it's under $750, but every time I quote a price, someone says, No, 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 I can't get it for that, le that cheap. Or it's a lot cheaper if you buy it here. Somewhere near $750 for the gun and five mags ready to play. Let's go loot it up with some. Freedom ammunition, and this is the new manufactured 115 grain round nose. That's so you know what I'm shooting in it. And let's go load it under the range officer's command and shoot it. Oh, holster today is a compact or a center of mass, not compact, center of mass for a 17L. Seems to fit pretty well. 
let's go racing. See you on the ranch, guys. Thanks a lot. All right, here we go. First shots out of the Bursa Thunder 9. What do they call it? Th Thunder Pro XT. And interesting hammer drop safety. Okay, load and make ready. Shooter ready. Stand by. You're ready. Nope. Oh, I, I got one hand on the gun. Oh, okay. you, if you stand right there, you'll see both hands. Alrighty. That'll pick up the sound. The 22s, I always get way close because the 22s are quiet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was nice. Shoot ready. Stand by. So far, so good. Maybe not the greatest shooting, but. Shooter ready. Stand by. Come on, Patrick. See? Kiss of death. I say something, and I mess it up. <laughs> I like the hammer drop. Pushing it up is kind of cool. Get ready. Stand by. Four, six, two. Yeah. Four, six, two. yeah. Up and down. It's, it's a natural place for your thumb to lie, and the controls come right to hand. Last string. Pretty cool. Last string. Last string. Get ready. Stand by. Bursa Thunder 9 Pro XT. Man, the, the uh, Argentinians love those big long names. Yep. The short answer is, so far so good, at least 30 rounds, ran just fine. Feels really nice, I can't feel it feeding. I pronounce it pretty cool, but we'll see after 350 rounds. Thank you. Two dot eight five. Still an extra shot. Come on, Patrick. <laughs> Are you ready? Stand by. Good one. Very good. Two dot five one. Are you ready? Stand by. Sorry, what was it? 3.91. Okay, 3.91. Last string. Are you ready? Stand by. Two dot eight one. You finished in Lone Show Claire. It's clear. Hammer down and holster. Beautiful. I'm trying to shoot as fast as I could shoot if I shot a gun I've been shooting forever. It's a testament to the quality of the gun and how good it feels. It makes me want to go fast, but I'm quite not in the tuning stage. I'm not shooting as well as the gun shoots, so I really should just shoot the sights and preach, practice what I preach, the fundamentals. Maybe the next stage. Oh man, that's Stand by. Three dot five Last string. Last string. Are you ready? Stand by. Three dot six one. Finished and load and show clear. If clear, hammer down and holster. Range is clear. Still shoots a little low. Put the front side of the top of the target and more solvent in my trigger control, and we hit. Shooter ready? 
Stand by. Three zero seven. Three zero seven. Shooter ready. Stand by. Three six zero. That it? Six zero. I don't even if you can single. Last, last string. string. Last string. Thank you. No. Yeah. One more. No, this is the last string. That was the last string? No, this is. Oh, this is it. Okay. One more. Shooter ready. Stand by. Four seven one. Four seven one. This gun is so much more capable. I don't. Either I'm rusty, which I am, a little out of practice, which I am, but dang it, this gun begs to be run like with somebody who knows how to run the controls. But I'm liking it. Make ready. Are you ready? Stand by. Five dot three three. Five point three three. Are you ready? Stand by. Three dot six six. This one's a little quieter too. Are you ready? Stand by. I think you hit it. 5.03. High primer, weak primer, weak hit, I don't know. But that uh, the first time in my whole life I've ever had the uh, DA capability I ever worked for me, and it just did. <laughs> Are you ready? Stand by. Arg. Six dot three one. This gun is so much better than I am. It bums me out. Are you ready? Stand by. You have five targets on a frame. Very good. Excellent run. Three dot five five. If clear. Hammer holster. You did a good job. Uh, Eagle Import, uh, Imports, thank you for sending it to me. I'm impressed. It runs. I didn't expect a gun that's at this price point with all the different accessories to run so well. It does. We'll see how accurate it is. I wish I'd done a better job for it because it really is a solid performer. I just wasn't. Thank you very much, Eagle Arms. The Bursa Thunder Pro XT. Good gun. Thanks, guys. Hey shooters, here we are, day two of the out of the box and to the match gun review of the Bursa Thunder XT Pro. Uh, and it's day two, day two could be seven days from now, it could have been any day afterwards, uh, but it's the accuracy testing days where I take the gun out and try to at least do five different kinds of ammunition through the gun and bench test it at 25 yards. All the groups I shot were right around two or less at 25 yards. I'm tempted to take this gun out a little bit further because I think it would perform very well at, at 50 yards. Solid performer. I really like it. It's a, it's a great value in pistols. And I don't like to use that term value in the sense that, oh, well, it's, it's okay for the money. No, no, no. It's okay if it costs more than it does. Uh, fiber optic front, nice adjustable rear sight. Uh, their ergos are very pleasant. The gun is uh, alloy frame, steel slide. I think I mentioned I might be concerned about that, but the, since the rails are truly full length, there's a lot of surface area to hold lube and to reduce wear. So I, I don't think I'd be concerned about this gun getting, you know, put enough miles on it that you wear it out and somebody's going to hand you a gun because you're just that good. 
Um, again, solid performer, very accurate, dead reliable. Over 400 rounds for this gun, not a single malfunction of any kind. I really like it. Uh, I do have two little issues with it. One, um, the, it had packing grease in the, which that's not unusual, it came from Argentina. It had packing grease in the barrel that was a bear to get out. I scrubbed and scrubbed and used various solvents and it took a while, but I finally got it out. It was rather difficult. Okay, that's a, that's a small niggle, but something you should be can think about when you get a brand new gun. Always field strip the gun, check them for obstructions, wipe the bore down, throw a little oil on it, and take it out shooting. I do that with every single gun I've ever tested, period. Nothing's truly right out of the box. Should cut the sh shipping uh, tag off it and go shoot it. And, and that'd be foolish. And I've been, been around too long to, to still be a fool. Um, and beyond, and the other than that is an ergonomic thing. And it's mostly has to do with the shape of my hand and some birth defects that are inherent in my, in my own uh, anatomy. But it's got a little edge right here on the frame. This edge right there. You can see that right there. Anyways, it's sharp. I don't think anybody else would notice it. But because of the shape of my hand and how it fits, it kind of rubs in the web of my, just above the web of my hand a little bit. Long-time Glock shooters get that little callus on their knuckle. Long-time 1911 shooters, you know, especially with high grips, might get a little, a little uh, callus built up in, in the web of their hand too. It's just part of the game. It's not a big deal. But it's just something that I notice that I don't notice with every gun I shoot. So that's it. There was uh, a lot of grease in the bore, and it uh, bothers my hand a little bit. It shoots like a house of fire. Comes with five magazines, five-inch guns, super accurate, reliable, and it's made by Bursa, Argentina. I'm stoked. Oh, something else I want to pass along here to you real quick. Now, I didn't buy this gun. So many of my, so most of the guns I do, 80% of the guns that I, I test, I purchase and then test. Um, Eagle Imports, who brings in the Grand Power, and I've tested a couple, three Grand Powers, uh, two of which I, I purchased, one they actually gave me after the fact. Um, and then the SPS guns are also imported by Bursa. I mean, by, uh, sorry, excuse me, imported by Eagle Arms. And the Bursa is imported by Eagle Arms, and, or Eagle Imports. And all of them have entrusted me with testing their guns and telling the truth. If you watch through any of those videos, you see a couple of my shell malfunction here and a malfunction there, a little a nitpick here and a nitpick there. They don't mind. They want me to tell the truth. That's what I do. You couldn't change my mind anyways. I can just refuse to do the work. But these guys at, seek me out, hand me guns, say, test the heck out of them, tell everybody the truth. And I know what you might be thinking, some of you skeptical ones. Oh, he got a gun rider special. I make it a point to make sure I don't. And uh, Raphael at, uh, at, uh, at Eagle Arms, or Eagle Imports, is really good about that. He understands that, that, that honesty is absolutely what I'm selling here, what I have to offer. And he makes sure he said, no, I said, I'm not even there when they pick the gun out, Pat. I just give, make a call to the warehouse and say, grab one out of the latest stack, and put it in a, in a wrapper, and ship it off to Pat. And that's what they did. So this is not a gun rider special. This is probably a pretty good example of what you would buy if you went to your local gun shop and picked up one of these. Bursa Thunder Pro XT and 9mm. 5-inch production gun, ready to race. I think you'll enjoy it. Well worth your money, time, and effort. It was certainly worth mine. Catch up with you later. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was going to catch up with you later. But I'm going to catch up with you later. You're going to catch up with me later. But I want you, as soon as you can, if you think about it, go to Defender Outdoors and Freedom Munitions. Without those two companies helping me as much as they do, I couldn't afford to spend the time and the money it takes to do these videos. So Defender Outdoors is where I buy nearly every single handgun or gun of any kind I own. And then uh, uh, Freedom Munitions graciously sends me enough ammo to keep this, uh, this channel and my desire to shoot a lot alive. You'll notice I don't always shoot all Freedom Munitions, and you'll also notice the honesty there. Uh, Freedom Munitions does not always produce the smallest groups. Often it does, because it does. Sometimes it doesn't, because it doesn't. That's the brakes. So what you get here is honesty and integrity and a solid pistol in the Bursa Thunder XT Pro. Woohoo! Nice luck, guys. Bye for now.